Rank investment bonuses. Yes, we have not had ranks at Solex yet, but now we do, and we are so excited to introduce these ranks and the bonuses tied to them. We're confident that there are a thousand fun ways to title ranks, and in our efforts of creativity, we may not have had the most flair and flash with, with what we've developed, but we certainly have put the, the memory power to test in their simplicity and for your understanding. The ranks begin with the base rank of what every business builder is here at Solex once they've enrolled and been licensed to participate in the Solex Benefits Plan. So we start with the Quantum Living Advocate or QLA. But from there, we have some really fun incentives for you. Here's the progressive list of ranks here at Solex. Bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. And then we break into pearl, sapphire, ruby, emerald, and diamond. Each of these ranks require a mixture of recruiting and other people achieving ranks in your direct line, meaning those that you directly enrolled. To qualify for, for these rank advancement bonuses, though, you must be considered active in that given month in each of those months. What does it take to be considered active? Well, Deb mentioned it, but it's 100 personal points. Once you're active, you then have to meet the qualifications regarding enrollments, the number of enrollments to you, as well as the ranks. If you maintain those for three months, you achieve the rank advancement. You break a new rank. Well, before we jump into the bonuses that are paid out and the specific requirements for each rank, we can jump into, or at least talk about, the three-month criteria. But before I get into the three-month criteria, let me talk a little bit more about what's behind this. We want to point out that some of our goals in this plan are to be able to create as much confidence in your earning capability so you have predictable outcomes for your actions. To do that, we need to know that you know what it takes. We realize that we cannot give perfect predictability on every front with every bonus because there are a bunch of moving parts. Everybody coming to Solix to build a business have, has a different reason, a different incentive, and a different approach. And we completely respect that. We love that. We think that with that great quality, that we have to do our best to make the bonuses understandable as well as enticing. It's a challenge, and we've done our best to try and meet that challenge so that you can obtain as many streams of income in your business as possible. Solex, unlike some other network marketing companies, is not interested in what's called breakage. This is where unqualified for or unpaid commissions go straight to the company. We aren't interested in that. We don't have an interest. We don't think it's the right thing to do nor the fair thing. We think that we can commit uh, to perfectly pay a fair percentage of the usable revenue available to us across the board to you who are building the business. For those that build within the benefits plan, you will recognize hopefully the efforts of generosity compared to maybe some of the others out there that are, are seeking to, to create breakage along the way so they maximize their return. Okay, that's not our interest. And let's get back on track here. Regarding the three month requirement. First, this is not a consecutive month requirement. This is a total requirement. Meaning that let's just say that you rank to the rank of gold in January, but you did not do it in February. But then you came back in March and you hit it again. And in that process, if you hit it one more time in a future month, you will break the rank of gold and get the rank advancement bonus tied to that. Once you have hit any of the ranks in front of you three times or for three months, and let me caution, without any six month period of lapse of inactivity, you will break a new rank and that will trigger a rank advancement bonus. What does that look like? Well, okay, let's go back to our example. Let's say you hit the the rank of gold in January for the first time. Let's say you hit it again in February the next time, but you didn't hit it until May for the third time. In May, you qualify for the rank advancement bonus. 
because now you've hit the three total requirement, the three month requirements for gold. And you can be confident that that's what it takes to get there. And then you can maintain that structure. Why did we do three months? Because we want you to be comfortable and confident in your consistency, that your organization is producing that outcome for you in that rank. And you can maintain other bonuses that are tied to that rank in future months. Because the monthly bonus rank, which is a future bonus that we'll talk about in just a minute, is tied to maintaining the same requirements as obtaining the new rank, we want to make sure that you, may, you have that comfort and confidence that you know what exactly it takes, that your organization is built the right way, and you have the parts in place to maintain the rank that you're trying to get bonused on. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's talk about money tied to this bonus. You wanna know how much money you earn when you break a new rank, right? First, let's point out the fact that once you break the new rank, you've met the qualifications of the three months, there is a one-time payout in that third month for hitting the new rank. The first payout starts with the rank of bronze. In the following matrix, or the matrix attached in the downloadable PDF, you'll see the breakdown of all of the rank advancements and the one-time bonuses tied to them. These one-time bonuses lead right into the monthly rank bonus that we'll talk about in just a minute. So let's cover a few things though with these new ranks. Can you earn multiple rank advancement bonuses at the same time? The answer is yes, you can. If you're so ambitious and you're so capable, of course, why would we hold you back? But remember that you can only earn each bonus one time. Okay, so for fun, let's take the example. Let's say you start, you started this month and you hit the rank of silver and gold this month because you're just amazing like that. And you continue to do that in April and May. Well, what does that mean? That means that in May, you earn the silver rank advancement bonus of $100 and the gold rank advancement bonus of $200, totaling a $300 rank advancement bonus total payout for that month. Let's talk about what it takes to achieve these ranks. As I mentioned before, the key is twofold. There are two qualifications for this rank specific, or for each rank specifically having the correct number of active direct QLAs to you, those that are on your front level, your first line, that's part of qualifying for a rank. How many direct QLAs do you need? Well, it depends on the rank. And then the other part that we need to talk about is in that direct rank, some ranks require a rank on your first level as well. So let's go through the list of what those requirements are. Bronze has three active QLAs with no ranks required. Silver has six active QLAs with no ranks required. Gold is where we jump into a rank required. Nine active QLAs on your front line with one of those being a silver rank. Platinum requires 12 active QLAs with one gold rank. Pearl requires 25 active QLAs with two platinums. Sapphire requires 40 with two pearls. Ruby requires 60 active QLAs with two sapphires in your first line. Emerald requires 80 active QLAs with two rubies on your first line. And right now our pinnacle rank is diamond with 100 active QLAs and two emeralds as a part of those active QLAs. Remember that the rank requirement is to come from your directs. All of this is focused on your directs. This means that you are to work closely with those whom you are recruiting to help develop them, the skill and the system required to deploy into their business so that they're successful. Note, it's very valuable to consider that these minimum thresholds that we cross in order to rank up are the requirement line. What I have commonly seen with many good leaders of different organizations is that they tend to build redundancies. And so a bit of advice, where maybe you have one gold 
on, uh, in order to rank to platinum, sometimes it's worth the effort, and it obviously naturally would be, to create an extra gold so that you can maintain the monthly rank bonus, which we're gonna jump into in just a minute. When you work in this way, let me assure you, this is effort not wasted and not just to protect, but rather when we get into another bonus called the pool bonus, this effort directly pays off. It is tied to you as that extra rank, obviously for redundancy, but it actually converts right into commissions. Okay, let's jump into the monthly rank advancement or the monthly rank bonus next.